18th at the HP Pavilion at San Jose. Uh, great seats are still available. Obviously, the main event, very exciting event. Uh, we're happy to have Kung Lee back uh, in, in action. He'll be taking on Scott Smith. And then, of course, the semi-main event, which is a fight that we've been looking forward to hap uh, happening for about a year now. Uh, and it, we're, we're very excited that it's going to be happening in two days. And that, of course, is Josh Thompson versus Gilbert Melendez. So once again, thanks to all of you for coming out. If you have any questions on the event itself, you can either touch base with myself, Jim Sparocco, or of course Michael Promowitz, who uh, does PR for Strike Force as well, is, is with us as well. So um, having said that, I of course want to introduce uh, somebody who really doesn't need any introduction. He's a, an MMA legend. He's a four-time world champion. Uh, please welcome Frank Shamrock. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I want to thank you guys for coming out and supporting Strike First for One. Everybody knows this is a local promotion we started here quite some time ago in kickboxing, uh, and we've moved into mixed martial arts. But we really are based in San Jose, so I just want to, from someone who has fought here, lived here, and, and bled here, I want to thank the media personally for all coming out and supporting what we do. You guys have really made, made the difference. Um, this was a huge year for Strike Force, and we were able to cap it, not only with this massive event coming up on Saturday night, but a live uh, Strike Force event on CBS this year. Um, Strike Force as a brand has really made a global impact this year. Uh, and we're looking forward to extending that brand throughout the masses. This Saturday night, we have something really special that's happening. Uh, Kong Lee, our local hero from San Jose, is returning to the cage after basically giving up his own title to pursue an acting career. And he was really welcomed in the Hollywood uh, scripts for it and opportunities for it in for him. Uh, he's starring in, he starred in two major films in 2009, and he'll come out in 2010 starring in the Tekken film, uh, martial arts film. He's really being touted as the next martial arts superstar in Hollywood. So we're blessed to have him back on the card, but he is facing Scott Hands of Steel Smith, which as you guys know or may not know, has knockout power in both hands, and has basically been the spoiler for most fights he's ever been in. We saw him on CBS fight Benji Raddick in an absolute knockdown dragout match that he ended up knocking out Benji in the last uh, round of the match. So we're guaranteed fireworks in the event. I want to say a little bit about Kung Lee as a martial artist. This man has a perfect record in mixed martial arts of 6-0, six six and, and he's never been defeated. He's also never been defeated in kickboxing. He carries a perfect record of 23-0 in combative sports. That, as an athlete, rarely happens in combative sports, and I just wanted to mention it to you guys because it's very important. I, uh, many of you guys know I also fought Kung Lee, and he kindly broke my arm last uh, year sometime, right here. And uh, I want to thank him for that. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, it was the only time in the world I spent with my daughter. And uh, it was truly a blessing, and I've actually thanked him personally for it. Um, so, also on the card, and not to be, uh, not that it's the same my main event, it could be a main event, but Josh Thompson will be fighting Gilbert Melendez in a rivalry slash rematch, and what has some unique background to it. These two fought June 27 to 2008 and Josh Thompson unexpectedly dominated Gilbert Melendez and took the title from him on that date. Uh, it was a shock to the sport in itself. Josh Thompson had a stellar career leading up to that point, but no one expected him to dominate Gilbert Melendez the way he did. In the rematch, or the scheduled rematch, Josh, Josh Thompson was injured and was not able to compete. So, in the interim, they fought, or uh, Gilbert Melendez fought for the interim lightweight title, and he holds that title now. Josh Thompson, because of his injury, still retains his strike force lightweight title. On the Saturday night, they will fight as both champions for the undisputed lightweight championship of strike force. And that, to me, is a really big deal. Please, as media, mention that we still have tickets available on sale, ticketmaster.com, HP Pavilion, where else can we buy them? Strikeforce.com, or you can come to just call me, I'll, I'll sell you tickets. <laughs> um, we always have a good crowd that comes out, but please, uh, any support that you can provide, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, and uh, this is for you and everybody else, I wrote Mixed Martial Arts for Dummies because, well, it needs to be done. Uh, Strike Force and I have joined a partnership because we want to educate the media as quickly as possible on the dynamics of this sport and the good and positive things about this sport. So each one of you will have a copy provided for you. You can pick them up on the front on the way out. Please take it, enjoy it, throw it away, do whatever you want with it. But I hope you take a moment to open it and educate yourself on Mixed Martial Arts. I want to thank you all for coming out again. And can we? I think I think at this point what we want to do is go ahead and uh, get some uh, stuff. I think Kung is going to go ahead and begin his workout right now. So if everybody wants to gather around, we'll go ahead and get some footage of him. Frank, maybe you can kind of go through what Kung is doing and kind of explain to the media what's happening as part of the training. 
Um, as soon as we're done there, we'll open it up for one-on-ones with both Josh and Kong as soon as we're done. Okay.